Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Sony RX0 Mark II stabilization and maybe the few different methods to try and get some smoother footage out of this thing. So the Sony RX0, this footage is shot at 60 FPS so I can slow it down later in post. And this is, the video will be at 24 FPS. So as you can see out of the box with no stabilization, it is very jittery and this is what you can expect just walking, going upstairs, going downstairs, and obviously very, <laughs> very home video-ish looking and not something you want to have as uh, professional looking stuff. So Sony has included along a, a movie add-on edit that uh, it's called that will allow you to stabilize more of your stuff, but you have to transfer your, your stuff to your telephone to do it. Now this footage is with steady shot on. This is E or electric stabilization, similar to the, the GoPro Hero 7's Hyper Smooth or the DJI Osmo Action with Rock Steady. But I would say this is, yeah, it's about 50%, maybe 40% maybe of what you get from those other systems. Hyper smooth with walking and rock steady are much smoother and you can almost you can say they're gimbal like or gimbal replacements as far as walking and even running. Uh, the the steady shot you can see that it it definitely smooths out but you have a 15 ish percent crop it looks like so you have to take that into account when you're turning on steady shot. Now this is with the movie edit add on from the non stabilized footage. It crops in and after it's finished exporting from the, the telephone, it it mangles the, the quality of the footage, which is the primary reason why you get an RX0 Mark II over a GoPro or an Osmo Action is because this thing records at 100 megabits per second. And this just, it looks like really mushy. It looks really bad and you get a crop. Like if you didn't get a crop and it looked mushy, that'd be one thing, but you're getting crop and mush. It kind of looks like like a, a mush crop. So not like it's as far as the stabilization goes, I don't think it looks it doesn't look too bad. I think it looks fairly smooth when it's it's unstabilized. But then if you turn steady shot on and you apply the movie edit add on after, I think you're getting even more crop. So you're probably around 20 or 25 percent crop at this point. But looks pretty smooth but your quality of your footage takes such a hit i can't recommend using it so i wouldn't say using the movie edit add-on from your telephone is worth doing i would say go and get adobe premiere final cut pro or davinci resolve is free you can download that put your footage into there and stabilize out and that's what i'll be showing in the, the next few clips a bit of what your footage will look like when it's stabilized in davinci resolve so this clip is going to end fairly quick here. Steady shot doing a pretty okay job, but unfortunately, unfortunately being musherized. And this is footage that is the unstabilized footage. So you're getting a hundred percent and then you're, I stabilized it in post with DaVinci Resolve using, I think it was perspective setting. You can see a little bit of E warbling going on. It's not perfect, but it definitely smooths things out. This is at like 80 or 90% as far as the strength goes. Um, I think it looks pretty good, except for it looks very artificial. It looks like e-warbles. It's definitely not going to replace the smoothness of the gimbal where the, the taking out completely the, the jitters out of everything and making it look like you're air walking, basically. But for, you know, just basic clips and stuff on YouTube, it, it doesn't look too bad. Now this is with steady shot on, so you're, you're getting a crop and then you're getting a DaVinci crop on top of that. So you can see a little bit of warbling, but this actually looks pretty smooth. It looks like you're walking, but it doesn't look too harsh, not too bad. And I think this actually looks pretty good. Of course, you're getting quite a lot of crops, so you're gonna wanna take that into account or overshoot everything that you're doing so you got more in the frame or shoot 4k because then you can take it down uh, and got more to crop from into if you want to knock it back down to full hd so that's an option as well 
And you can see here, you can barely even see the footfalls if you, you stabilize it with, uh, with the steady shot. And this is two levels of electronic stabilization, one real time, and then the other applied in post. And you know the results are for you to see. So this is just a follow shot uh, following my dog and my wife with the steady shot on uh, at 60 FPS, uh, played back uh, 24 FPS. And if you can concentrate on her, it doesn't look too bad. When this is at 60 FPS, it actually looks pretty smooth, pretty nice. I, I actually have ND filters now that'll help me double my frame rate and stuff. This is another interesting shot where I took the 60 FPS. Uh, it, clip is running at 24 FPS, but I've slowed the 60 down to 40. And it's got steady shot on and it's further stabilized in post. And you can see, you can actually get some fairly cinematic looking footage if you just slow it down. It's, it's harder to see the warbles, so it's running at 40%. And I honestly think it doesn't look too bad. All right, guys, that's going to be my my footage showing for the, the Sony RX-0 Mark II and my thoughts on it. Thanks for watching.